Myanmar is tradition-rich country, and she has a lot of folklores. Lots of children are listen those folklores as their bedtime story. I will be reading 30 Burmese tales written by Mao Xinao in this series. In this tale, I will be reading, How Friendship Began Among Birds. Please subscribe and click the bell button to get notification, when we upload new tales. At first, friendship was unknown among birds, for there was intense rivalry among them all. If a bird saw another bird, he at once said, I am a better bird than you, and the other replied, Certainly not, for I am better than you, then they would start to fight. One day the pheasant met the crow, and being in no mood to quarrel, he said, Crow, you are a better bird than me. The crow was not only surprised, but very pleased at these words of the pheasant, and out of politeness, he replied, No no pheasant, you are a better bird than me. The two birds sat down and had a chat. Then the pheasant said to the crow, Crow, I like you. Let us stay together. All right, pheasant, replied the crow. So the two lived together in a big tree. With the passing of time, their regard for each other grew, but in their case familiarity did not breed contempt. And they continued to show courtesy and respect to each other. Other birds watched the association of the pheasant and the crow with interest. And they were surprised that the two birds should stay together for such a long time without fighting or quarreling. At last some of the birds decided to test their friendship. So they went to the pheasant while the crow was away, and said, Pheasant, why do you live with that good-for-nothing crow? You must not say that, replied the pheasant, the crow is a better bird than me, and he honors me by living with me in this tree. The next day, they went to the crow while the pheasant was away, and said, Crow, why do you live with that good-for-nothing pheasant? You must not say that, replied the crow, the pheasant is a better bird than me, and he honors me by living with me in this tree. The birds were deeply impressed with the attitude of the pheasant and the crow towards each other. And they said to themselves, why couldn't we be like the pheasant and the crow, instead of fighting and quarreling? And from that day onwards, friendship and respect for one another developed among birds. That is the end of the tale, How Friendship Began Among Birds. Read by me, Emma, Timber Music Channel. Please subscribe, and click the bell button to get notification, when we upload new tales.